you know, you talked earlier about like this idea of virtuous friendship and a group of, of friends who are challenging and encouraging each other to become the best version of themselves. And um, when you imagine Jesus just walking down the dusty roads with the disciples, what do you imagine that was like? Right. Um, so I have the images. I've had a chance opportunity to hike a bunch in my life or camp a bunch in my life. And one of the things that happens when you're on those kind of journeys um, is you kind of either pair up or you're going to triple up and then drop back and people are joining and rejoining groups. And one of the things that just strikes me is the naturalness of you know, you just kind of drop back a little bit because you want some quiet time. Or you join up with this other group because you, you, what are they talking about up there? Or you get to just even again walk next to the Lord and have that opportunity to just um, maybe even not even say anything, but be able to be walking with him, walking with him and, and just being in his presence, um, going the same direction, knowing you're headed the same direction. Uh, I keep having that. Yeah, that's, that's the, what I keep imagining is, those pair ups, those those uh, dropping back, those walking with the Lord. Um, I imagine it'd be a, a lot of, where there'd be laughter. I imagine that there'd be some times when it was, you know, Jesus set his face to, like Flint to Jerusalem and he decided I'm going to go there and I'm going to announce to you all that what's going to happen when I get there. Um, it's maybe less laughter in those two situations, but, but that would be incredible too, to see how does the Lord face, um, how, how does he do this walk? How does he do this walk where he knows what's at the end of the road? Um, yeah, that'd be, I think it would be pretty remarkable.